I'm really excited uh, to introduce Dick Tomey as our new special teams coach slash uh, safety coach. Uh, we've known each other for a long time. Uh, we coached together uh, with the 49ers. Uh, we've coached against each other. He was at three major colleges that he was on the other side of the field. And I'm really glad uh, to have him on our side of the field. Uh, so I know you guys want to visit with him. And, uh, you know, I, I just feel so good about uh, Dick and his uh, wife, Nancy, who's, uh, you know, who's a great lady also. Uh, and I welcome them to the Warrior Ohana. Thanks, Mac. <clears throat> well, thanks, Mac. And uh, I, uh, this has been quite a day so far. And I'm... Um, um, glad to have a chance to talk with you folks. I'm particularly pleased that, that WAG stopped by. It means a lot to me that, that Bob is here. Uh, and because everything that's happened at UH since WAGS was here, he's had, he had a lot to do with setting the tone as long as he, he had a lot to do with our success when I was here. So um, anyway, I couldn't be more excited. Um, I think uh, after 14 months of not having a full-time job, and getting a chance to relax. And when this opportunity came along, it was just uh, kind of too good to be true, really, because special teams is something I've always had a real interest in. And it's uh, uh, something where you have a chance to be in, in front of the whole team and you have a chance to have uh, dialogue with the whole team. And I've really admired what Coach Mack and the players have done since I was here last year. And I'm just glad to be a part of it. I, I assure you I have a lot to learn. I knew I had a lot to learn when I walked in the door this morning and when I saw some of the technology that we have and some uh, just uh, uh, so much to learn. And I was in the weight room this morning with the players and I'm trying to learn the names and faces and I'm, I got a long way to go there too. So, uh, but I, I assured the players when I got a chance to talk to them, I'm gonna learn everybody's name. I'm gonna have conversations with with all of them uh, in, the, in the not too far distant future because I think that's an important part, particularly when you're involved in special teams because you're really coaching everybody on a team at one time or another. So um, Nancy and I are thrilled to death. Nancy was here this morning. I introduced uh, her as, as Mac did as well because uh, we plan on having the players in and out of our home as much as we can also because that's just a part of what we believe in. So. Um, I'm excited. I I'm, I'm hope to help as much as I can, uh, and uh, I'm just uh, anxious to get started. Such a big part of the history of this football program, if you can put into a certain um, reflective thought about just coming back to the University of Hawaii. Well, I woke up, I, I, I was, uh, I wasn't sure I wasn't going to cry. I was, I, I thought, you know, but I got up at 2 o'clock this morning um, just to, you know, go again over the press guide and look at guys' faces, uh, coaches, all the players, just to, uh, and, and also then I, I'm laying in bed and I've got these thoughts that Wags would appreciate because we were together for so long, just these thoughts about things that happened in the stadium, about things that happened when we first got here. Uh, some that were a little bit crazy because it was June. It was June 28th, as a matter of fact. Uh, and uh, just the wonderful things that I had experienced uh, in my time here. And I've been a fan of the University of Hawaii since then. And, I've, and I've, I've been more than a fan of the University of Hawaii. I've been so passionate about this place as a special place to live and these, the people that live in Hawaii and I call Hawaii home of being special people. And uh, since I've been back, uh, you know, there's almost not a day goes by I don't run into a former player. And uh, so, you know, I just have a lot of, I'm being bombarded by thoughts, emotions, all this as I go through the day uh, and everything leading up to the day starting late last night. But it's, it's, uh, it's wonderful because this is kind of the, the full circle, you know, and as I told Mac when we started talking about me doing this, I said, I don't want to be the head coach. I don't want to be the athletic director. I don't want to be a coordinator of offense, defense. Being the special teams coach is ideal for me. 
And so I'm excited about that. Coach, when, when you were finished at uh, San Jose State, did you really think you had football out of your system and you were ready to move on? I, you know, I, not, not necessarily, but I knew I, wa I didn't want to be a head football coach anymore at a major college. I didn't want to, I didn't, uh, I, I did that. And uh, I enjoyed that experience. I was fortunate to be with a bunch of people like Wags and all the people you guys know and with Mac with the 49ers. And so I, I, I didn't want to do that. But uh, I knew I wanted where I wanted to live. And so the blessing is that you get to live exactly where you want to live and you get to do something that you love with a bunch of people. And I, I met the players this morning, many of them, and God, there's, there's, there's guys, uh, sons of guys I coached on this team. Uh, that is just uh, incredible uh, to, to get a chance to, to coach their offspring. So, I mean... It's, uh, I, I didn't know that, but I think this was a great opportunity. And obviously, getting a chance to work with Mac, because we worked at the 49ers together, and I admire so much the job these guys did this year, because uh, uh, to win the, share the championship when or going into the season, everybody is not sure what kind of football team you have, and to do the things that they did this season, I know that's responsible for getting the University of Hawaii into the Western, or the uh, Mountain West. Hawaii would not be in the Mountain West had they not had the football season they had. If they had had a mediocre season, no, it's not going to happen. Coach, you always had connections back here to Hawaii, where regardless of where you were coaching. Had you always hoped that somehow you would end up back on the sidelines in Manoa? Well, no, I didn't think about the, being on the sidelines. I don't think that's something you can plan. That's just something that happens. Uh, but I, we certainly intended to come back and live here, and which we were doing. But. Uh, this was just a circumstance that you probably couldn't predict because this is the only job on, on the staff that I would be interested in. And uh, as I said, I admired the job that was done this year so much. Uh, and I got a chance to witness it because I was involved with the stadium doing some things. I was involved with WAC TV, uh, but um, I didn't certainly, I, I didn't set out to do this. And I'm fortunate enough to be healthy at my age. And uh, I, I think I'm, I'm just blessed that this could, could happen. Matt, can you talk about the dynamic that's set up with having a guy like Dick Tomey on the staff? I mean, much in the same way as when you added Mouse Davis, you talked about almost a mentorship there uh, to, to roll. What about having... You know, I've always believed this. I learned it from Jack Elway, quite honestly, many, many years ago uh, when I coached with him at San Jose State and Stanford is... I, number one, the first thing I look in a, look for in a coach is being a great teacher. And there isn't any better teacher than Dick Tomey and, and the rest of my staff. I mean, the staff, I really feel good about the staff. The other thing is, you know, a lot of, a lot of people get tied up in numbers, but age to me is, is, is completely non-existent. It's experience. And, and I want a certain group of guys that have experience and have been there uh, and, and have been there before. And then I want some young lions over here that want to work their tails off and do all the busy work and, and uh, you know, spend the 24 hours a day that are, that are football sponges uh, that, that we were in our, you know, in our inexperienced days. And, and they can bounce things off of coaches. Like Mouse did such a great job. Uh, you know, he, he, di he didn't come here to, I think that was his first quote, is he didn't come here to build up his resume. He came here to help Rolo and help myself, you know, help the University of Hawaii win. And uh, that's the same thing Dick's telling you. He's not coming here to get my job. He's coming here uh, to... Uh, help us win and I can learn I mean he's got experiences that I can learn from I really believe that's the healthy thing is that is that defensively Dave Aranda can come to myself he can come to to Dick uh, Dick's been a great defensive coach he's been a great you know he, he just I think I think he's one of the best in the game I've said that many times and and I've related to that to him uh, you know, right before he was retiring. And uh, guys like Mouse and Dick don't retire. I mean, they're, 
uh, whatever age they are, are going on 40. And uh, they, they are just a wealth of knowledge to, to my football staff. Coach Matt, uh, there were times last season where there was some concern about what was happening on the special teams. And uh -huh. you feel like you've just remedied whatever concerns you had about I, special teams coming into the Just wait, just wait, Robert. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let, let's, let's not put it on the line let's right here. <laughs> I, I, I feel this. I feel that the players. I, I've been around, I've coached with Dick, I've coached against him. I know there's no better motivator, uh, which I really like the day before the game, we have a special teams meeting. I know he'll have that whole team fired up because the whole team's in there. He's talking on special teams, but the, uh, the whole team will be listening to him. And he's got that ability. Uh, he'll have... You know, he'll have the right guys on the field. He'll, he'll, he'll do a, he's a perfectionist. As a head coach, uh, uh, that's what he worked with. He's the only coach, and I, there were a lot of really good coaches that applied for this. I mean, uh, I, I could go through them, but I, I interviewed five, five guys. He usually interviews two or three. Uh, he is the only coach that knows how to coach kickers you know and and we have a punter and dick and i have talked about making him into a, a kickoff guy also he's got a strong leg dick knows how to do that uh, uh so he, he he was hands hands down it was a no-brainer i mean he was my ever since he first called me you know, I mean, he was the guy that other guys had to knock out of the saddle because I've known him, I know all about him. He's, he's perfect for this position. Coach Mack, uh, the Samoan community perspective is that you have a treasure sitting to your left. Will you use him for recruiting as he has shown that he has been deeply committed to bringing Samoan players on board at UH, UCLA, San Jose State? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, Tony Tuioti is, uh, recruits Samoa. And, uh, uh, of course, when they get here, you know, they'll, they'll talk to Coach Tomey. Uh, what Coach Tomey and I have talked about is recruiting Hawaii. Uh, he, he's, he, like he said, he's coached most of the parents of these guys will be recruiting. And so he's going to be a big value in recruiting here locally. Uh, we'll let Tony take the trip, and sometimes I go down. Coach has been, what, 14 times to Nine Samoa? Times. Nine, Nine times. Nine times to Nine Samoa. Times. But he, he will be a big factor uh, in recruiting Samoa also. I don't know if I'll send you to New Zealand and Australia, but... Been there too, but... <laughs> but uh, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that. And, uh, you know, it was just, uh, it was surreal this morning with the team because, uh, again, London, Sao Paulo, uh, Alvis's son, uh, Bo Yap. I mean, on and on. It's interesting.